Hey everyone, Carl Clover, your host of Project Man. We're back with more spooky videos, and today I want to talk about one of my uh, favorite movies I've watched over the years, or currently watched. Uh, and that's the movie of the 2007, if I got that number right, of Chick or Treat. The film is a structure of an anthology with multiple interwove stories that take place on Halloween night in a fictional town called uh, town of Warren Valley, Ohio. Each story highlights the importance and a heading to Halloween traditions as the character Sam, a small pumpkin-headed figure, serves as a supernatural enforcer of the these customs i'm gonna get started on a little bit of the uh the acts to these movies like they have a few acts so we're gonna start off with the principal secret this story reveals a the dark side of a seemingly normal town where the principal has a sinister hobby of killing children Ugh, spooky and horrifying his character serves as a statistical take on Halloween night where the line between trick and treat can blur dangerously. I guess as this one you see him uh, talking to a fat kid eating a candy bar and the fat kid dies by eating a snicker bar that had a razor blade in it. I think Sam was watching him bury a dead body and uh, yeah... Sam got him good. Like I said, it's been a hot minute since I watched these movies. But we're going to move on to the next act. The Virgin's First Time. This segment revolves around a girl named uh, Luran, Lorna, I'm pronouncing this correct, uh, wrong, but okay, who is excited to celebrate her first Halloween as an adult. However, her night takes a turn when she encounters an unexpected horror, which serves as a can. Co uh, concoctionary tale about the consequences of succumbing to peer pressure. Uh, hmm. Trying to retrace my steps on this one. Processing. I do believe, uh, I don't know if this is the werewolf part in the woods. I don't, I don't know. If not, this is probably the girl that gets killed at the beginning of the movie. Can't remember. I'm gonna move on. Sorry. This storyline follows a group of kids young of young trick-or-treaters who decide to pull a prank on a local legend. Their actions lead to a chilling revelation about the importance of respecting the local lore and the danger of recklessness. I uh, do believe this is the one about the sunken bus of uh, disability kids, and those were Sam's friends. So, uh... The bus driver drove the bus off the ledge. He got paid to do it from the kids' parents. His parents didn't want to raise them or deal with them anymore. Yeah, sad. So these kids come across the bus, and Sam saw these kids play a trick on this girl, and the girl just ran the hell out and just left them there to die. Yeah. Yeah. Don't be a dick on Halloween. Or don't be a dick to others. Let's put it that way. Okay. Next is The Halloween Hater. The final tale features a woman who despises Halloween and the joy it brings. Her strain leads her to dismiss the holiday spirit, unfortunately resulting in her facing a very horrifying... I mean, horrors she so out of... So avoid... To avoid... Um... If I had to guess, this is the lady that got stabbed by the candy cane. I'm, I'm sorry, not the, candy, the the sucker that Sam has his weapon. Uh, like I think he threw a sheet on him and just was like new decoration. Boom. Uh, the thing is with this is karma. Each character's fate serves as a reminder of the consequences of their actions. Emphasizing the concept of karma, especially towards those who mistreat others. Res Back for the tradition. The film advocates for the importance of Halloween traditions and the spirit of the holiday, warring against and neglecting them. Um, there is a part at the end of the movie where uh, uh, Sam finds the bus driver and they get into a little tussle and 
Sam kind of beats him up, and he, uh, the buzzer is literally passing up candy now, and learns a lesson. Then next kids are at the door. The kids he drowned at the uh, cliff long ago. I mean, this is trick or treat. If you have not seen this movie, go see it. I recommend it. I do. But uh, yeah, if you like what you saw, don't forget to like this video, subscribe if you haven't already, turn that notification bell to know when. You I'm, I have a video going up since there's going to be a video going every day. And you can follow me on social media on my Instagram or Twitter. I do have a coffee if you want to support some projects. Uh, again, I want to thank Rock for, uh, Rockhead for actually uh, helping me edit these videos. Much appreciated. Guys, I got to bounce and get on to the next video, but uh, we'll talk to you later. Peace.